Hi, and welcome to this TacView tutorial on MapView, a TacView add-on that downloads terrain textures from various sources. Big thanks to Jacques Derrieux for writing this add-on and saving us all a lot of trouble. You'll see what I mean. Let's get right into it. By default, TacView displays a generic texture on the ground. If you'd like to add some textures, you need to obtain some PNGs or JPEGs of exactly 1 degree by 1 degree longitude and latitude, and name them after the coordinate in the bottom left corner and place it in program data slash tag view slash data slash terrain slash textures. I'll put that all in the video description. So if I wanted this square right here, I would need to find a photo of exactly one degree longitude and latitude and call it north 45 west 74.jpg or png. Now here's an example of such a photo. So now, if I take this photo and put it in the correct place, as I said before, and relaunch TacView, there it is. Now say I wanted to download a big area. First, you have to record what area you want to download from top left to bottom right. So let's say north 45 west 75 to north 44 west 72. You can make it much bigger than this. I'm just keeping it manageable for the video. Luckily, we have MapView, which can be downloaded from the TacView site. I've added a link in the video description. MapView will allow you to download terrain textures from Sky Vector, Thunder Forest, OpenStreetMaps, or Open Flight Maps. I'll put the websites in the video description and you can take a look at each website to see what the maps look like to decide which one will best suit your needs. I'm using OpenStreetMaps in this tutorial. Click on the pencil icon to create a new map and see the options available. I'll call this map Lower Canada. And I will put my coordinates north 47, west 75, to north 44, west 72. And then I click exit to go back to the main screen. Now you can also choose uh, different types of blending. So you can play around with these to see what looks best uh, for your purposes. I'm going to use normal for the purposes of the tutorial. Then you just click go. Now MapView will download all of those tiles for you and they will also and it will also place those files in the correct folder. So if we look here we can see the tiles appearing in the folder where they need to be. And then I'm just going to have to relaunch TacView when that's done. And sometimes it could take a, f a minute or two minutes. And you can see there are the textures. So that's it. That's how you download uh, terrain textures using MapView. Now Thunder Forest is a great source because they have many different kinds of maps. If you want to use Thunder Forest maps, you will need to simply sign up for Thunder Forest and choose the free hobby project level. You'll obtain an API key, which you will have to go put in MapView's INI file. Then you'll be able to use MapView to download all those great Thunder Forest maps. Uh, sometimes one of these websites will change their protocol, which may cause MapView to stop working. If this happens, just shoot us an email to let us know and we'll work with Jacques to try to get the program back up and running ASAP. So that's all for today. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, suggestions, or comments, please leave them on this video, or you can always reach me at support at tacview.net. Thanks for listening.